Hey guys, today I'm here on Horseshoe Bay Beach in Bermuda. It's one of our most famous and most beautiful beaches. White sand filled with visitors to the island. It's going to be a great video. Add this routine in to help you wake up in the morning or relax before bed. I hope you enjoy. If you're ready to get started, grab your water, grab your mat, and let's go. Hello, greetings. Thank you for joining me. Let's begin this one at the top of our mats. Find a comfortable position with your feet about hip width. And we're gonna begin by inhaling and reaching our fingertips up toward the sky, enjoying a bit of a back bend, and then exhaling. Arms back down, inhaling again, reaching through the fingertips, making yourself as long as possible. And exhale, release. Last time, reaching your arms up toward the sky, and on your exhale, releasing them back down to your side and curling all the way down into a forward fold position, whether your hands are on your shins or on the mat, and taking a gentle rock back and forth on your feet. Waking up through the hamstrings and the calves and the ankles. Breathe deeply here as you hinge at the hips. And then our next move is actually gonna to be to rock side to side rather than back to front. At your own pace, just shifting your weight from one leg to the other, engaging with the muscles in the backs of your legs, hinging, breathing. Awesome. On your next inhale, keep your hands on the mat or slide them up your shins and come up into a flat back position, crown of your head reaching toward the top of your mat. And exhale, forward fold. Again, inhaling, flat back, and release, forward fold. One more time. Coming up into flat back, really reaching forward through the crown of the head, and release. Great job. Walking your hands forward and find a nice, comfortable downward dog. If this is in the morning, give yourself a break and allow yourself to wake up by pedaling the feet, finding some gentle movements that feel good to you. You might wanna take some ankle rolls here, pointing and flexing the feet. Just do what feels good. On your next inhale, press forward with intention and find a high plank. I really want you to engage through the shoulders, pressing through the toes, trying to lengthen from head to feet, taking a few nice deep breaths here. And then again, pressing back into down dog and we're gonna repeat that again. So inhale, rolling forward, coming into your high plank, squeezing through the core. And on the exhale, lifting your hips, pressing back and driving through the heels to find downward dog. Let's do that one more time. So roll forward to plank, trying to squeeze just a little bit tighter, engaging through the arms and the shoulders and release, finding downward dog. Awesome. Next, we're gonna transition into crescent lunge. So go ahead and reach your right leg up to the sky for three-legged down dog. And then when you're ready, stepping that left foot between the hands and engaging through the legs to lift yourself into a lunge position. Check in with your posture here. Make sure that your knee is in line with your ankle, tracking slightly towards your pinky toe, and really open through the chest as you press through the heels of the hands. Great. Look at this guy behind me. Coming in for a twist, palms together, hook that left elbow over the right knee, and breathe deeply as you sink into the stretch. On your next inhale, hands reaching up to the sky, crescent lunge. And then release your hands, clasping them behind your back and again opening through the chest, pressing forward through that left hip, back through the left heel. From here, straighten that front leg, not locking it out completely, and hinge forward at the hips to come into a pyramid pose. Option to release your hands to the right shin for balance, up to you. Awesome. On your next inhale, shift your weight forward, bending through the right knee. Release your hands to the mat and step that foot back to come into plank. Option here to flow it out, going through a Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. 
or you can go just straight into your downward facing dog. Enjoy a few deep breaths here. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more alive and relaxed. All right, let's get started on that other leg. So when you're ready, go ahead and inhale your left leg up to the sky, pointing through the toes, trying to keep your hips level to the front of the mat without twisting your torso. And when you're ready, step that foot forward between your hands and raise yourself up, coming into crescent lunge. Opening through the chest, gaze upwards. With every exhale, try to sink into the stretch a little further. Get ready for your twist, palms together, hooking right elbow over left knee this time, looking up and back. With every inhale, lengthening, and every exhale, trying to deepen the twist. Inhale and find your way back to crescent lunge, and then clasp your hands behind your back and use them to open through the chest, shoulder blades coming down and back. And into that last stretch on the side, straightening through the left leg, hinging at the hips, and again, bringing the hands to the shin if that helps you balance, making sure not to lock through the knee. Beautiful, release the hands to the mat, framing that foot, stepping the left foot back, finding your high, strong plank. And option here to flow it out, but please meet me in child's pose no matter how you wanna get there. Remember, all of these poses can be modified. Please push yourself, but listen to your body. Go ahead and sit back on those heels, taking the knees wide, reaching the fingertips toward the top of the mat, really making this an active pose. Great, we're gonna shift forward now. So knees in line with hips, hands in line with shoulders, and take some cat cows. So finding your neutral back. And then on the inhale, looking up toward the sky, arching through the back. Exhale, hollowing through the back, looking down toward the ground. And at your own speed, alternating back and forth, staying synced with your breath. Try to really focus on pressing through the palms of the hands, engaging through the arms, curling and uncurling the vertebrae one by one. Last one, nice and slow. And finding a neutral spine, we're gonna come into a twist, extending that right leg, reaching the right hand up toward the sky, lengthening on the inhale, and exhale, deepening the twist. And go ahead and unravel yourself. We're gonna come into active balancing cat. So reach that right leg behind you, left fingertips towards the front of your mat really extending through the crown of your head. And if you'd like, add a few crunches here. So inhaling, extend, and exhaling, crunch your knee to your elbow. Awesome for your balance and your core strength. And last crunch. Release your arm and leg back to all fours. And now we're gonna take that twist on the other side. So extending your left leg, flexing through the foot, Right arm for support as the left arm reaches up toward the sky. Breathing deeply as you enjoy the stretch all along your side body. Coming into active balancing cat, extending the left leg behind you, pointing through the toes, right fingertips reaching forward, crown of the head long. And if you'd like to challenge your core a bit more on the exhale, crunch your knee to your elbow, inhaling long repeating at your own pace, or feel free just to hold the balancing pose. Pineapple breathe. <laughs> Last breath, or crunch, and then release back to all fours. We're gonna come back up into a downward facing dog, so press backward through the hips, lifting toward the sky as you press back through the heels. 
Next up, one of my favorites, dolphin pose. So I want you to bend your elbows coming down onto your forearms as you continue to press up through your hips. Again, very much like downward dog, but this one is just so great for opening through the shoulders. Fantastic for your posture. From here, I want you to inhale and shift your weight forward, coming down onto your belly, pressing through the forearms and lifting into Cobra Pose, releasing through the back. And let's just take that a few more times. So shift your weight back, finding Dolphin. And then when you're ready, shift forward and find Cobra. Please take this transition at your own speed. Feel free to stop the video, practice the movement a few more times. Let's try for one more. And wherever you may be in the series, go ahead and find your way back to Downward Dog. Pedaling out the feet, releasing any remaining tension you may have. Awesome. Find your way to the top of your mat, feet hip width. Reaching your palms upward on the inhale, giving yourself a back bend, giving your wrists a break. Interlace the fingers and on the exhale, reach up and over to the right side, stretching through the left side of the body. And inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, reaching this time over to the left, every breath lifting and lengthening. And coming back to center, great job. Reaching the hands up toward the sky again, and on the exhale, rolling all the way down, coming to your forward fold. We've got a couple hip openers. So once again, find your way back to downward facing dog. And we're gonna take a three-legged downward facing dog with the right foot, reaching your toes up toward the sky. And then go ahead and bend through the right leg, right knee to right hand, left leg reaching backwards, hips, as square as you can get them to your mat. If it's within your practice today and you'd like to go further, you can definitely hinge forward like I'm doing, bringing your forearms to the mat for a deeper stretch. Lovely, let's hit the other side. So go ahead and find your way back to downward dog. Taking a moment here just to unravel, get out any kinks and then reach that left leg up toward the sky for three-legged down dog. On your next inhale, bending through the knee, left knee to left hand, reaching back through the right foot, squaring the hips with the front of the mat, and if you'd like, hinging forward. Staying engaged through the back right foot, and on every exhale, sinking deeper into the pose. One more deep breath. Press into your seated upright position if you were hinged forward. And then step the left leg back to find down dog. Let's finish this off with one of my favorite chest openers. So find a kneeling position, arch through the back while looking up toward the sky. You can either keep your hands on the back of your thighs or for a more advanced position, you can walk them to your ankles coming into the full camel pose. Focus on pressing through the shoulders. You should feel an amazing stretch all along the front of your body and your abs, filling your lungs with oxygen. And release, coming into your all fours. Last time, finding a downward dog position. An option to flow it out here. So pressing forward into plank, on the exhale, lowering down with control, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pressing through the palms of the hands. And exhale, downward facing dog. Two more of these. Remember, you can come down onto your knees if you're not quite ready to do the full chaturanga. Take the movement nice and slow, don't rush anything. With every try, you're gonna get stronger. One more, downward facing dog, to plank. Shifting forward, lowering, 
pressing upwards, opening through the chest, trying to lick your disgusting toes. <laughs> and last time, finding downward dog. And we are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this. You're feeling good. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.